Joseph McCoy put together a standout career at quarterback in the early 1990s, sharing the backfield with fellow U Chicago Hall of Famer Frank Baker to form the top running duo of the modern era. The ground attack peaked in 1993 with McCoy setting new school records with 6.6 .6 yards per carry and 16 rushing touchdowns. A four-time All-UAA honoree, McCoy garnered first-team honors in 1992 following his junior campaign. Today, McCoy ranks second all-time with 31 career rushing touchdowns, third with 2,842 rushing yards, and first all-time after averaging 5.1 yards per carry during his career. A three-sport athlete, McCoy also lettered in basketball and track and field for the Maroon. Congratulations to Joseph McCoy, a member of the U Chicago Athletics Hall of Fame class, 2017. For me, it's both an honor and a privilege to introduce Joseph McCoy, my teammate, as an inductee for this year's class. I first met Joseph during a recruiting visit as a senior in high school. And I remember thinking, hey, here's a guy that I really want to be connected with. Little did I know how true that would be over the next 25 years. Joseph, you are quite literally the best leader and the best teammate I've ever had the privilege to play with. During our years playing together, I learned valuable lessons, not only about how to compete, but also how to live. With regards to competition, uh, one of the more important lessons that I learned was that you have to show up every day. And I remember during my first year on campus, I watched your practice habits, watched the way you competed. And one of the things that I realized was that every time we stepped on the field, you showed up to compete. And in fact, that was so evident that I could see it in our opponent's preparation in trying to stop you. Second uh, critical lesson I learned from you was to make no excuses. And that's a lesson that I've taken not only into my own life, but it also informs the way that I teach and the way that I coach and work with young people. You didn't allow us to make any excuses for the conditions that we played, for the resources that we didn't have, or the competition that we might have faced. You demanded that we give our best efforts every time. And third, which I think is even more important, and it relates to the previous two, is that you set a standard for Eclis that all of us wanted to aspire to accomplish every time we had the opportunity. As I think about what I accomplished during my playing career at UFC, it is without a shadow of a doubt uh, directly attributable to your leadership your guidance, and your support. I've appreciated you not only from our first meeting, but in every opportunity that we've had to be connected since then. I remember the last game that you played in. Uh, we played against Case Western Reserve University right at Stag Field. And I had the honor to uh, clean your shoes for our annual shoe ceremony. And I remember as I cleaned your shoes, I wanted to shine them up the best that I could so that every Case Western defender could see the bottom of your shoes as you race past them to lead us to victory. You had a stellar game that day. You ran for over 200 yards. You scored three touchdowns. And even more importantly, you led our team to victory. Joseph, I join so many others today as we come to celebrate you and the rest of the inductees on the accomplishments that you achieved during your playing career and the contributions that you've made, not only to our teens, but to our lives. Thank you.